welcome back to Acronix's lab. I'm Katie Purcell, an Applications Engineering Manager here at Acronix. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how our VectorPath Accelerator card connects to a host using a PCIe Gen 5x16 link and reads and writes to GDDR6 memory. Let's go into the lab. PCIe Gen 5 doubles the data rates over previous Gen 4 based systems and supports 32 giga transfers per second. We now see more systems supporting PCIe Gen 5 deployed commercially, and our Speedster 7T FPGA is one of the only FPGAs available and shipping today that has the ability to support up to PCIe Gen 5 by 16. The PCIe Gen 5 demo I'm showing requires no RTL code to connect between the PCIe interface and GDDR6 memory. The innovative two-dimensional network on chip or 2D NOC in the Speedster 7T FPGA can directly connect the PCIe and memory interfaces without routing signals through the FPGA fabric. This is easily configured using the GUI interface in the Acronix tool suite. Here is a block diagram of this demonstration. There are two PCIe ports on the FPGA. One supports up to Gen 5x8 and the other supports up to Gen 5x16. In this demo, we will use the 16 lane port in Gen 5x16 mode. The PCIe interface processes the read and write traffic and sends it using an AXI transaction to the 2D NOC. The 2D NOC then routes the traffic to the GDDR6 controller targeted by the host driver. The targeted GDDR6 controller completes the memory read or write command issued by the host driver. Let's take a look at the system used for this demo. We have a host system that supports PCIe Gen 5x16. The VectorPath card is installed in the PCIe slot and is configured to support PCIe Gen 5x16 link speeds. We installed the PCIe driver that comes with the VectorPath card's SDK. Let's look at the utilization summary of this demo. You can see that it consumes a minimal amount of the FPGA's programmable logic resources to train the GDDR6 memory, and a portion of the I.O. is used for reference clock inputs. We will now program the VectorPath card and boot up the PC. We will use the LSPCI command to show details of the PCIe link between the host PC and the VectorPath card. Link status shows that we are connected at 32 gigatransfers per second at a width of 16 lanes. We will then launch a shell script that uses the PCIe driver to write to the GDDR6 memory on the VectorPath accelerator card, read it back, and compare the data. Now we have successfully demonstrated the PCIe Gen 5x16 interface on the Speedster 7T FPGA and VectorPath Accelerator card. If you would like to learn more about the Speedster 7T FPGA and set up a meeting with a technical representative, please contact Acronix today. Thanks for watching.